This month's lesson goes out to the Department of Defense team. Everyone on that team is one in a million. Which the rest of this shirt explains is really not all that special. But that team seemed pretty special to me when they were hooking me up with this shirt. Now let's get to work. Now in this problem, we've got some really wacky notation. Special tip for you for dealing with wacky notation like this, have no fear. Problems with wacky notation are usually not nearly as scary as they look. Just jump in, mess around, and maybe the answer will pop right out at you. Let's try that here. They define x star y as x squared plus x times y. And we're told a and b are positive integers such that a star b is 9, b star a is 72. And we have to find the value of a over b. That's a really weird thing to be looking for. We're not looking for A, we're not looking for B, we're looking for A over B. That's weird, so I'm going to circle it. Now, anytime I got something weird that I'm looking for, I keep my eye on the ball. All right, we're going to keep our eye on the ball. We're going to get to work here. We have to find stuff about A and B, and all we have are these weird equations with stars in them. But we know how to handle those stars. They tell us how to handle them right up there. We take this A star B, and we use our definition. The A comes before the star, just like the X does in our definition, so we put the A where the X's are over here. The B comes after the star, like the Y does. B goes in for Y. So A star B is A squared plus A times B. And we're told that that equals 9. Then we do the same thing for this equation right here, this B star A. Now B comes before the star. B is where the X is. We put B in for X over here. A is after the star, we put A in for Y. B star A is B squared plus B times A. And we're told that that has to be 72. So we got rid of the stars. And we have a couple of pretty messy equations to deal with. All right, keep our eye on the ball again. We see an A all alone on the top, B all alone on the bottom. So we go looking for how to get an A all alone or a B all alone. I look at that first equation and I think, well, if I factor out an A, I get an A that's kind of all alone. It's not quite all alone because it's still multiplied by the A plus B that's left over when we factor it out. But I see I can kind of do something similar on the second equation as well. But this time we're factoring out a B. So I kind of have an A all alone here and I kind of have a B all alone down here. Factor out of b, I have b times b plus a, and this has to equal 72. Now we see something really nice. a plus b and b plus a, they're the same. And we're keeping our eye on the ball, a over b. We want to divide this by this because that'll give us our a over b because these two cancel. That's really slick. So we're going to divide this equation by this one. We divide the left side by this left side. These two cancel. We are left with A over B. We found the ball. And on the other side, 9 divided by 72. We simplify that 9 over 72. We get 1 8. We found the ball without ever finding A and B.